Welcome to the channel, Reverend Dr. J.W. Morrison, Theologist. Um, let's get to the subject of single mums. Um, see what sort of the job they're doing from what I've seen in my experiences. I'll tell you one thing right now. Your value will be um, variable. At first, they'll put a high value on you. They'll probably be starved of masculinity or they've had masculinity that's low value. Um, if you're a high value male, that is. Um, high value male, starting with the fact that you're straight, you're not on drugs or alcohol. Um, you're never gonna get the bond that they've got with their children. You can forget about that. You're kidding yourself if you think you'll be able to beat that. Um, you're only going to bring trouble on yourself um, because as the woman becomes used to your presence and her masculine supply is fulfilled, if the children live with her, she's going to migrate back to, emotionally migrate back to the children. Um, particularly if they're males, she would have already surrogated them as a form of partner in the absence of a male. This is what these single mothers do. And again, it's called covert emotional incest, something that all of you need to be educated on. Covert emotional incest. It's not an option. You should look it up and understand what it is and how it works because this is what's destroying uh, not only the mother and the children, but also the men, if you allow it, that go into their lives. If you don't know what covert emotional incest is, oh boy, you're playing with um, ignorance at a real high level. Um, also, uh, single mothers will come out of the, the hive, I call it the hive of the tribe, to find masculinity or um, depending they could be lesbian or bi but they'll come out trying to get their sexual supply um, if these people live in the house the children be it male or female they will initially accept the partner out of sufferance for the parent because they'll be aware of the fact that the parent hasn't had a partner, but underneath there'll be an enmity. Now look up the word enmity. Because enmity is a word that is used for enemies that will never be reconciled. Now this may have absolutely nothing to do with you or what you've done or who you are, or where you're from, or what you've accomplished, or what you haven't accomplished, good or bad, well, if you're bad, you, <laughs> you got no chance. But at the same token, if you're good, the enmity that comes from the DNA people, children to parent, parent to children, it works both ways, um, cannot be reconciled. It's gonna be a spirit that will come after the demise of the relationship you with the mother or whatever the case might be the covert emotional incestual enmity will come after that relationship and not be satisfied until it's deleted now I've seen women try and overcome this I've watched it clearly with a clear concise studying mind in real life Right, I'm 60 years old, I've fucking seen this uh, at least four times now. Not once have I seen a woman succeed at trying to find a way out of it. Um, they've all been aware of it because I've sat and spoken about it, but you cannot and you should not expect. I've always said I don't want to come between you and your children. That's usually not the problem. Usually the problem is the children coming between the parent and the outsider. You have to look, my advice, honestly, um, a 
A bit of it can depend, depend on the children as well. I've run into a couple of real bad cases of underdeveloped infantile surrogated children um, that were never going to accept anybody anyway because they were, too, they were emotionally in bed. Uh, their emotional fulfill, uh, uh, emotional, how can I put it? There were under, emotional undertone sexual fulfillment was with the mother. Okay, now I've seen 20 year olds get into bed with their mother while I'm there thinking it's okay. Um, I've had 23, 4, 5 year olds say to their mother, he's taking away your attention from me. Um, and I've seen shit, man, that you would not believe. You might think the little ones are bad. No. Nah. Forget about the little ones. I remember a 10 year old kid. I said to his mother, I was living with her. I'd been with her for three years or so. Um, might be time for him to walk to school given it's only a hundred meters down the street. I've told this story before, but when I come home early, I'd forgotten something and it was time for him to go to school. And she, uh, she did walk him a couple of times. She walked with him and then it was his turn to go on his own. He had her round the neck strangling her against the wall, forcing her to drive him to school. I saw it with my own two eyes. I saw it with my own two eyes. I saw it. You've got no idea what these children will do to their mothers to keep control of them. Um, they'll humiliate them. They'll embarrass them. They'll ha I have seen uh, 20, 21 year olds with their mother in the corner in fetal position, screaming at them and had to um, sort, sort it out um, and had to ask that person not to come back to the property. Ultimately, I ended up having to ask the mother to leave as well. It was just so out of control. I'm telling you, I've seen some horrible, brutal, uh, mental abuse on these mothers in the tussle to get their attention back away from the partner and back on themselves. I mean, I'll tell you, it's been some of the most emotional, violent um, spectacles that I've ever seen. And the problem is, these women have got no answers for it because they've set these children up as surrogate partners. They've emotionally connected with these children in a surrogate way. They've allowed the children to come into the parental area of life that they never should have. And they can't reverse it. You can't reverse that. Yeah, so that's the net. The, the, there's another side to it the intimate side where you'll be there and the mother will be calling the adult children and adults over 18 isn't it um where i went to school <sighs> darling sweetheart babe honey um gorgeous beautiful um precious these are males, the mother's calling these people. And you can hear the, the sexual undertones in it. And they don't seem to realise the lustful undertones and they'll go and you... There's no point you saying anything because um, they're just going to say, ah, it's just... But it's not. There's more going on underneath than you realise and then what they realise. Um, and then they'll brush up against each other and they'll hug. Um, they'll kiss on the lips. They'll hold each other in a uh, intimate way, as it were. It's. They'll speak about sexual subjects that you ought not to speak about. And it just goes on and on and on. And you're watching it and you're just going, oh, God. Like, I mean, it's just... Single mothers, guys, 
honestly, from my experience, and I'm sharp, I mean, I can entertain a woman, don't worry about that. Um, I, I just advise against it. They're going to interfere. They're going to drive the woman round the bend. She's not going to stand. I've not seen one. Oh, the lady that was getting strangled by the 10-year-old son, she used to pull him in the line. He, he turned out actually to be um, successful in the Navy. She did a good job with him, actually. She pulled him in the line. Um, these other ones, nothing. Nothing. I've had um, one accuse me of thinking it was funny that he was going to commit suicide. Just an out and out blatant misrepresentation of where my mind was at. Nowhere near where my mind was at. Um, and, and the woman was sitting there and she never said a word. I couldn't believe it. She never said a word. Um, and that caused a tremendous... Actually, that ended up ending the relationship. He just had so much control over this woman. It was fucking disgraceful. And he thought he was alpha. You know, he just wasn't. He just wasn't. Something was missing. Somewhere something went missing. I don't know where it was or what it was. But it absolutely had nothing to do with me. And I was never going to um, take accountability or responsibility of other people's delusions. Um, and the way all that come to a head, it was fucking disgraceful. Look, honestly, guys, stay away from... Look, my experience, you've got to stay away from them. Or you've got to pay the price. You've got to say to yourself, okay, well, well, however long this is going to last, however much you can take, the oppression, you're going to end up with oppression, depression, um, you're going to feel negli neglected, you're going to feel like your, your partner's having an affair with their children, which they are on an emotional level. I don't care what they say, I've seen it with my own two eyes. Um, they'll come for you, to you for sex and masculinity and then they'll take the benefits of that back to their spawn. And instead of being a partner that's acting by way of role as a helper to you, no, you're just a donor of masculinity and she is a surrogate wife of these children if they're living together. These children will drain them of their money, they drain them of their health. Um, they'll be drug addicts and, and no hopers and dopes and the woman will stand there and tell them how proud of them that she is. It's really, it's really woeful guys, honestly. I don't know what else to say. That's my experience. I've said to these women, you know, why don't you just put a word... They won't even put a word in for you. You know, I stuck it out with the last one longer than I should have so that she could see into my life and try and turn things around. But by the time she fucking reckoned she was going to try and turn shit around, it was all over. These people had fucking brutalised the relationship. It was triangulated for fucking 12 months of the two years I was with her because she was emotionally in bed with the children, the adult sons. Is that a criticism or am, or am I having a go? No, I'm just telling you as a male, what happens with these people? It's just what happens. There's nothing you can do about it. If you want to waste your time in that zone, I, I'm strong, right? I gave this woman an opportunity to sort out how she was going to deal with things and to study a little bit more of what these people will do and this woman I had to say to her you've got a, you have got no backbone whatsoever none had no backbone at all and this this kid this well supposed to be a man ran the relationship from behind closed doors covertly um, brilliantly absolutely brilliantly and she allowed it. So my conclusion is, if you want to put your life into a single mum, 
right? You might get a good one if you're lucky. Look after her and love her. But if you get one of these bad ones that's in bed with their children and they're just using you for supply, guys, don't do it. Really, it's not worth it. It's really not worth it. The children will always come first. They're not your children. I've got five children of my own. They have never, ever interfered in a relationship. They've always complimented it. Yet, on the other hand, these, um, these single mothers, children, it's been the opposite. Three out of three have brutalised the relationships and one even cost them the end of the marriage. So if you can work that out, you're a better man than what I am. But that's my experience. If you want to spend your time with these people, you go right ahead. But I can tell you at the end of the day, they're going to end up with their children, not with you. This is Reverend Dr. J.W. Morrison, Theologist. Bye for now.